So I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing what we can get done. I'll play on A20 with the Hermit. Another try. Start of each combat, we gain a Memento. Hermit has a middling amount of max HP. No starting bonus for us, as this is our first run. And we're playing a normal, quote-unquote, run of Slay the Spire, fighting the bosses from the perspective of the hero. I know that we have a very easy one-hit point elite option here. Uh, and if we're really, really lucky, we'll even get two one-hit point elites. That's pretty cool. I'll take it. Dead on co Oh man, we've got like a whole tutorial thing. This is cool. Dead on cards trigger their special effect if positioned in the middle of your hand. In even hands, both of the middle cards count, even if they're the only cards you have. You got it. So we what's our starting deck? Four strikes, four defends, snapshot, deal five damage if it's in the middle of your hand, gain eight block, or covet. Draw one card, discard one card, discarded curses get exhausted. And this is the Memento. Memento is a curse. Apply one vulnerable to everyone. Interesting. Hermit's got a very delightful animated sprite. Beautiful custom art. No reused art, as far as I can tell, for this character. A fully up-to-quality modded character. So, what are these? Vantage, block, and upgrade two or three random cards in your hand for the rest of combat if it's in the middle of your hand. Deal seven damage, repeat on a random enemy for each dead on effect you've played this turn. So, for every dead on card you've played. Or deal five if dead on gains strength. Oh, I like a way to gain strength permanently. Yeah, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna take the strength gain card for sure. What I'd like to do, at least initially to start here, is <clears throat> work on being able to consistently activate dead-on effects. That means having maybe some draw, some discard, something like that. I think this guy wants to remove strikes first, but I haven't played enough of him to know for sure. We'll lose some max health to get the golden idol. Bonus cash from here on out, sure thing. And... A giant treasure chest. That means we got not one, but two elites with only one hit point. And then I'll probably fight the burning elite afterwards. <clears throat> Can't you rearrange your hand? No. That is not allowed. Well, an early Toxic Egg is definitely going to be beautiful. I mean, that's Toxic Egg after only one combat. That's as early as it can possibly happen. followed by a membership card. Yeah, you can rearrange via drawing cards, you can rearrange via playing cards. You can't just drag them around in your hand. Hmm. This gives you a curse. Whenever you draw a curse, gain block, and a lot of it, too. Interesting. Well, I'm definitely going to take the membership card. So we have money for not Shadow Cloak. I could exactly buy Eye of the Storm, or I can remove a card. I think removing one of the defends now would be a pretty good idea, also. To shrink that starting deck down a lot. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. Got two more free combats coming up after all. We've got an, this is a really good long term investment start. Golden Idol, membership card, Toxic Egg on floor five. Plus, easy elite killing. Absurd. Just absurd. Hey there, Michael Mayhem. It's good to be back. Really enjoying the full release of Downfall so far. We just had a, a champ run, essentially tie with Niao. I had a winning line, but then I borked it slightly, so we both died. 
What happens if you and the Ancient of Resurrection die at the same time? That seems like something that would activate some sort of ancient prophecy. Yeah. Wait. Oh, you discard first and then you draw. Fascinating. Dead on. Apply directly to the forehead. First relic is a happy flower. We get one of Champ's pizzazz potions. I guess those aren't a Champ specific thing. Just a common potion. Maintenance plus. <clears throat> oh, that's right. There's this archetype. Upgrade all strikes and defends this combat. This can upgrade them any number of times. So you can do strike plus th two, plus three, plus four by playing this card over and over again. Retain deal nine, play all strikes in your hand and random targets. Okay, I'm seeing why why uh, defend removals might be preferred on this character. You can even add new strikes to your <laughs> to your deck. High caliber, deal 12, add a strike to your discard pile. Is every upgrade a plus three flat? I believe so. Yeah, just three each time. And this actually doesn't do anything numerically immediately. There's no block or attack on this card. I don't want that. I'm not sure I want any of these cards. Uh, what's your upgrade showdown? One cost. Hmm. Oh, 18 and a strike plus. Well, that's way better. Wow. That is a much better card. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll take that and upgrade that. That's going to let me kill something. Cards. They've got the right borders and everything. The skills have different corners than the attacks. The art is different shaped. Got a square here, pentagon, pentagon here. Oh man, early gremlin horn also fantastic. Card draw and energy whenever something dies. So we always start with that, huh? That's good. Satisfying. And now I have ice cream. What an amazing act one. Holy crap. Cold shot. Deal damage equal to your hand size. Lone wolf. Choose a card. It costs zero this combat and then discard the rest of your hand. Targeted madness. Or 16 block for one cost, but it makes me weak for two turns. Hmm. I think that's a good enough block card. I'll, I'll take it for now. I might regret the weaken, but we might also find ways to negate that weaken. Pick it up. <laughs> yes, yeah, Uthus, dead on works if it's the only card in your hand or if you only have two cards in your hand. That does upgrade draw one. That's a really good upgrade, actually. This is 710. Okay, let's upgrade Covet. Seems like I've got health to spare, given that we haven't actually fought anything yet this act. Note that we still have two easy pool encounters left. We only fought the starting encounter, and then there have been no other regular combats this act. Very unusual. And yet... And yet, one click to get a red candle. Whenever an attack deals two uh, unblocked damage, we apply two soul burn, which is uh, damage three turns later. So essentially all of our attacks do two more damage. Pretty good. 
That's a Hexaghost mechanic, Silburn. All right, our first real fight. These nerds. <clears throat> so if I play High Caliber and Defend, then did I will technically be activating. Cool, yeah, so we go Defend, High Caliber, Dead Eye. Target the weakest one. I'm not going to play this Memento, uh, as I do not want to become vulnerable. <laughs> I love that this has Retain. It's a really good card. Destroy this. I'm not gonna play it since it doesn't work on them. Nothing in the draw pile. the one energy rather than <clears throat> playing two defends, which I could have done. Nice. Oh, that's right, Soulburn works with Artifact too. Might have been able to take advantage of that. Cool. Get some of our missing max health back. We're actually back to, a, I think, our starting value, 71. Cursed weapon. Lose four health, deal four damage. This card permanently increases its damage by three. I love this concept in a card. It's a metascaling card, but in order to abuse it, you must have infinite health. Or must constantly spend health. Very cool. What's the upgrade? Lose one less health. That's it. <laughs> but because it's limited by the health loss, actually, that means you can play it um, like 33% more often, 25% more often. And once it's up to, you know, 50 or so damage, well... Body armor plus 16 block and added a fen plus to the discard pile. I love that one too. It's the skill version of high caliber. Black wind. Deal damage equal to your missing health. Ethereal and exhaust. Fascinating. Let's take a body armor. Especially going into the guardian fight here. <laughs> Can buy another one for $15. Three brews. Whose targets take more damage? How much more? Hmm. hmm. Oh, sadistic na oh good oh man, chat uh, chat caught onto something I I hadn't even thought about. Sadistic nature. When you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take five or upgraded seven damage. We have the red candle, which says whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply two soul burn. That is a status effect. So all of our attacks will always inflict status effects. 
if they are unblocked. And that means sadistic nature is zero cost, gain five strength. Okay. I think that's a really good pick in that case. <clears throat> and we'll even upgrade that to be seven. And this should be a wild time. Oh boy. It also works with our uh, memento that we start each combat with. Apply one vulnerable to everybody and then deal damage to them. Is this the turn? I'm gonna hold on to this for a later turn. Beautiful. I can actually just block. Otherwise, I have to memento. Just block. Bonk. We're eventually going to fill the deck with strike pluses and defend pluses. I suppose that's not the worst thing in the world, huh? Well, we're definitely using the holdup a lot. Or hold up. Hold up? What's the hold up? Kid? Block is first, I wasn't quite sure. Would have been the turn for the memento. I'm not use it. Doesn't much matter. Good fight, Guardian. This deck feels really cool. I haven't added a whole lot of cards to it, but what we have is relics galore. Oh man. Another chance at Black Wind here. There's also Magnum. Discard six cards. For each card discarded, deal six damage. Or Dead or Alive, deal eight damage X times. If fatal, gain a bounty. Gold bounty. Normal enemy, 15 gold. Elite enemy, 40 gold. Boss, 100 gold. And we have an ice cream. Oh boy. Oh boy. My only issue with this is that sadistic nature is going to make it awkward to get the bounty. But otherwise, I love this. Yeah, and we have membership cards, so we're also gaining more money. What's the upgrade on this thing, anyway? 11, okay. We're offered energy. Dome, stone, or crown. Three pretty challenging... Um, Energy relics, generally. Vernic Doe makes it so that you don't see what the enemies are doing. 
Philosopher's Stone makes it so that enemies have more strength, or the Busted Crown makes it so that we have less card rewards. I think with Toxic Egg, we don't want to have less card rewards. Maybe Philosopher's Stone? Just so that we can still see what the enemies are doing. We have pretty good block, so I'm not currently worried about being unable to uh, mitigate. I'll be a little bit concerned about this for the hearts. I really only find one potion in Act 1? Oh yeah, because we only went like through like four fights. That makes sense. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five. What? Hello? <laughs> what is this path? <laughs> what? Yes, please. <laughs> it's bounty hunting time. Then maybe we'll take a few combats so we can actually get a potion or something. Bounty is 40 gold per elite killed. So we could get a, up to 200 gold of bounty harvested there. And there's a shop here for us to stock up, too. It's a perfect path in so many ways. Maybe we'll end up taking a, an extra event here. We can opt into that. We'll see. That's the only real decision to make, I think. Perfect. <clears throat> the fact that we keep making ourselves weak is a bit annoying, though. This is 8 normally, plus 3, 11. Let me get 3. Okay, yeah. I think it's definitely time for the Pizzazz Potion. We can do this. We get a 15 gold bounty. Interesting that it's dropped on the ground to be picked up afterwards. Midnight plus, gain 13 block, add an impending doom to your hands. Unplayable, dead on, at the start, at the end of your turn, deal 13 damage to everyone. Spooky. Gain energy up to your maximum. That sounds kind of bad with ice cream, actually. She triggers okay. No, I mean, there's, there's no reason for the... Dead or Alive not to give you the money immediately like... Hand of Greed does. Should just work in the same way that Hand of Greed does. Alright, I don't think I'm taking any of these. Midnight seems spooky. I don't trust it. Receive five bites in exchange for my strikes. Could be an interesting way to sustain ourselves, but I don't really like the loss of max health we'd be giving up. I'm gonna refuse. Alright, since we did lose our potion, I'll take two more combats here. Try to restore potion. Hmm. This is not ideal. So don't play anything. Okay.
And we also don't bother playing High Caliber because we're just trying to draw back into Dead or Alive. Very little else seems to matter. just in case. Okay. Do have to take a hit here. I'm less thrilled about. There you are. 11 times 12. Speed potion get. Coalescence. Eight block, retain up to three cards this turn. That's pretty cool. I also like Wide Open, as that would give us a way to apply Vulnerable, which is definitely going to trigger the sadistic nature, too. I think Wide Open. Yeah, Equilibrium Light. I like it. Oof. Teen, huh? Well, if I make everybody vulnerable... <laughs> hmm. Kind of tempting, actually. Just just play the memento and then kill the rat on this turn. Get into a uh, gremlin horn proc. I think I'm going to do it. I could have killed that thing with dead or alive, huh? Gotten my bounty that way. I also guess I am vulnerable now for three turns. More than I want to be. Die to the elite, maybe. It's a hit points. Deal 10 damage. If it, it's in the middle, gain an energy draw card. I love that. Basically a free deal 10 attack. That's definitely my pick here. The free upgrade especially. All right, here goes. Actually, I don't get a rest site. Hmm. Anywhere. But I'll buy some potions. Block potion. Yes. Put one card from your exhaust pile into your hand. It costs zero this turn. Oh, cool. I can get back dead or alive? Neat. Very neat. They're all dead eye cards, so I just play the one that's in the middle, except if I do that... Cinder's Bane is going to be the one in the middle. Hmm. I have to play Memento, otherwise. You know, otherwise. It, hmm. Guess I'll do that. Oh, but then. Oh, heck. Yeah, it doesn't even work, because Ascender's Bane keeps getting in the middle here. Rude. Oh, 
you might just die shortly. My kind folks. Won't get a bounty for killing that way. We'll be fine. If I'd used the Liquid Void to get back um, a Memento, I could have killed that turn, but it wouldn't have been a bounty kill. Here's Ditter Alive. There's our money. We also get Boot Thingy for 10 block on turn one. Gain block and more block for each debuff we have. I actually quite like that. We are often weak, sometimes more horrible things. Double damage. Let's take a low profile. And hopefully we can get something good in the shop. Oh yes. Draw all of your strikes and defends. <laughs> Look at this card. Overwhelming power. Gain three energy, draw three cards. Whenever you end your turn with zero energy, lose four health. Really now? Ending my turn with zero energy is a bad thing for me. Hmm. Preserved insect would definitely make the elites a lot easier to kill. Pet Ghost. The first time you would die each combat. Survive with one health instead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do some math. 86 plus 82... Eighty-one. It's 249, so I can afford Overwhelming Power, Pet Ghost, Preserved Insect. I can't also afford Fully Loaded Plus. But I think that's okay. Well, now I feel actually very confident in just taking this path, because we have the pet ghost. Let's go. Yes. Power overwhelming. Beautiful. Make them vulnerable. Make them all vulnerable. Twice. I just kill him like this. Wait a minute. Overwhelming power is a debuff? Yes. <laughs> Gives us extra block. Check that out. First time we lose health each combat, draw three cards. So we can now also now uh, activate power overwhelming intentionally to get even more card draw. Ten block and plated armor if it's dead on. Interesting. Deal 18 damage to a random enemy and then calculated gamble. Very interesting. I think I'm going to skip all these.
All right, next elite. If you end your turn concentrated, gain an additional energy next turn. I have no idea what that means. Presumably I can see the concentrated keyword once I pick up the relic, but not before. Well, it's a new relic. Let's take it. Oh, concentrated is a status effect that means we always activate dead on. So we don't have any cards that do that. It's a buff. Okay. In that case, I think I'll take the blue key. Because I don't have anything that works with that. Get him. Beautiful. The money keeps flowing. Strike, dummy! Cards containing the text strike do three more damage. Very good on this character. Lots of strikes here. Although not that many in our deck at the moment. Five more max health? Yes. Adapt. At the end of your turn, you could exhaust up to two cards. Gain four block for each card exhausted. And the upgrade makes that a lot cheaper. That's very interesting. Kind of a deck refinement. Plus block at the same time. For a three cost card, I might not honestly, might not be fast enough. Yes, yeah, slow eruption. Wouldn't call that OP necessarily, but certainly can do some good things. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be taking it here. All right, please give me some health back. Thank you. I love that we keep drawing that on turn one. Maybe should have dead-eyed first, though. That's not enough, huh? Yeah, but if I'd had strength, it would be. Well, dang. Close. Great turn next turn. Maybe I should have taken damage on purpose there. Okay, we don't get the bounty, but I'll take the win. Fairy in a bottle is here. Override our pet ghost. And a bottle tornado letting us bottle a power card. What does upgraded overwhelming power do? Oh, it just reduces the hit point loss. I think that's probably going to be my bottle. We can just have bonus card draw on turn one. Or we could bottle sadistic nature, which is also not bad. But I'd rather just have the card draw, I think. Play one of the top six cards in your draw pile. I choose? If dead on, also count the card as being dead on. I like it. Let's give that a try. Bottled super offering, anyone? Upgrades to 8 2, that seems like a good idea. Maybe I'll upgrade the uh, bounty card. Card 
like that. Okay, there's dinner alive. I think we want to... Not sure if we need to kill the middle one. I guess we'll do some science. Because I gotta know. Blue Slaver is typically considered a normal enemy, not an elite enemy. On its own, the Blue Slaver is an elite enemy, rather, a normal enemy. In this encounter, this is one of the three parts of the elite fight, though. So the question is, do I get 15 gold or 40 gold for killing this guy with Dead or Alive? My guess, 15 gold. But I'd like to know for sure. Okay, I actually do not want to activate that ever. <laughs> that makes sense. 40 gold. Okay, cool. I had an Art of War to go with ice cream. Beautiful. Could take a second Body Armor Plus if we want. Do not know that I want. It's time. All right, against the boss, our goal basically just blow him up with a really big thingy. Can remove artifact layers really easily thanks to Red Candle here. Get this out of my hand. Although I could add Vuln to the minions next turn. That might be a good idea. I have to go strike. High caliber wide open to apply vulnerable here. We could also use Cheat on Dead or Alive for some hilarious action. Beautiful. That are alive gets stolen by the last one. That's actually ideal, I think. This doesn't get consumed. Not sure why I thought the memento exhausted. We should have waited a bit there, actually.
Um, maybe? Play one of the top six. Actually, yeah, I play Memento. And Cheat is guaranteed to let me do the thing, yeah? GG, thanks for the extra hundred gold, nerd. Got him. Final Canter. 13 damage times the number of curses in hand. Zero cost is pretty cool. A note that you generally can have one easily because you've got a retaining uh, curse as part of your starting relic. Purgatory, ethereal three cost. 30 damage to all enemies, upgraded version, not ethereal. Or again, deal damage equal to your missing health. Very interesting. Hey there, Chrono Toxic. I think Downfall is a very, very cool um, take on the Slay the Spire format, a, a deconstruction slash reversal of it. Love the player-inspired bosses uh, of the Downfall mode, and pretty much love all of the, the content that this mod adds. I think it's definitely one of the best content mods Spire has, period. Oh, this is a good cheating card. That's right. We do want a massive area damage card, I think. I'll take one. Love the art on this, too. Yeah, there's been a lot of work, polish, and effort put into uh, Downfall. Downfall's been, I think, years now, collectively, of work. Oh my. Obtain two injuries. At the start of combat, gain an energy for each curse in your deck. Hmm. Cursed key gives us energy. Whenever we open a non-boss chest, get a curse. Or the Pandora's box. Transform three strikes and three defense. Um, and new skills will be upgraded. Injury is the um, the basic unplayable curse. Zero cost, or not zero cost, no cost, unplayable. It's one of the random curses you can get in Slay the Spire. One more energy per turn would be nice to fuel our dead or alive. I guess you could argue that the class locket might even help us do that a little bit better, but I don't like the injuries that it's going to add. We don't have that much curse synergy. I'll just take the P-Box. What does the new mod contain? Seven new characters in a whole new gameplay mode. One new character in the vanilla gameplay mode, so eight total new characters. That's, again, twice as many as are in the base game. All really well fleshed out and enjoyable to play. Lots of new relics, um, rewritten, rewritten events, redone combats, new bosses. Basically, doubling the amount of content in Slew the Spire, at least. And a dad joke for the crowd for Jasper Larvitar. I'm trying to come up with a cowboy-related one. Sure, this one's a bit of a stretch, but just popped into my head. <laughs> what do the cowboys say on Arrakis? It's high dune. My hope, uh, Vikings Call, is to bring some of this... I'm going to take the P-Box here. My hope is to bring some of this modded content onto the YouTube. I think it would uh, would help diversify the content a little bit. No refunds. That was last so bad. Don't worry, I can come up with terrible dad jokes till the cows come home. Oh, I like this. Two week and one vuln, nice. Gain five plated armor. Dead on, gain ten gold. What a strange card. 
Concentrate. The next dead-on card played, triggered while concentrated, triggers its effect regardless of position. Wears off on turn end. Giving him cards. Oh, this is the discard your hand thing. And Shadow Cloak. When you draw a car, gain six block. Very interesting. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. Very interesting indeed. Oh my, look, look at this path. Again, one shop. One, two, three, four elites, and then a second shop. Can't make this stuff up, man. times six. 96. Three shorts, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Could at least scavenge for gold here. Can't play the dead or alive, though, oddly enough. A snapshot, body armor scavenge. It said souls. Did you see that? I gained souls. But that had no energy, so I took damage. We took damage from our overwhelming power. If we end our turn with zero energy, we end up uh, taking damage there. Not to worry about the bounty here, it's only 15 gold. Apply one week to all enemies with Dead On. Or the Retain card. I like the Retain card. I want the Retain card. Get him. Okay. Could just finish the fight, but we want to dead or alive. And slash or scavenge for cash. Why not both? Does say souls. My <laughs> five bruised. Guess I'll take a gambler's brew over the uh, return something from the exhaust pile. For shop with 500 gold, we can get a Gurya, letting us gain strength at rest sites. Although, will we? Do that enough, I'm not sure. An ash could be rather interesting. Yeah, realistically, I could only lift two times by the end of the run. That's not a bad thing, mind you. Definitely want the Sling of Courage. That's gonna let us destroy the elites. Might as well take the Sundial. Um, maybe just buy all the relics. What do we card remove? Definitely gonna remove something here. Shadow Cloak is a reasonable choice. Don't have a 
whole lot in the way of curses or anything. Panache is not an attack, so it won't activate uh, the red candle or anything. Definitely yes to this. I guess I'll take the Gurdia. I mean, we're going to have tons of cash by the time we get to the next shop, right? Heck it. Snapshot is an acceptable removal. Yeah. Uh, we could also maybe remove this Shadow Cloak. Maybe that's next. Get him. Don't play any more cards. Won't take damage. Oh, it even tracks the current bounty. That's kind of cool, actually. get this bonus from scavenge because all of these cards kill the worm here reduce each of your debuffs by two interesting with retain on it yeah I'm gonna try that I'm sure there's quite a few things we can use that for and does it work on this I have to know Definitely going to be good against the heart. Cheat the dead on here. The power. Wait, so uh, it's going to go down to 10? <laughs> oh, it also reduced overwhelming power. Lose two health if you're in your turn of zero energy. Fascinating. Cool. Very cool. defend plus to your hand they cost zero this combat absolutely wild what a card do I take another low profile he says with a removing his own debuffs card Definitely do not want this with ice cream. <laughs> it's just gonna, that's too many defense. Now, if I had unceasing top, this would be the coolest thing ever, but I don't have unceasing top, unfortunately. Man, I love having sadistic nature on turn one. Let's 
ceramic fish to give us even more money. Fatal Desire. At the start of your turn, draw two cards and add an injury to your hand. Upgrades to be innate. I love the additional card draw it gives. And we do have an actual Shadow Cloak, so I think I'll take that. Do I want to go to a rest site? Yes, because Gurya. Fatal Desire definitely seems like a card you could get too early. In a bad way. Hmm. Is that just a kill? Forty-seven. Yep, that's a kill. Bye. Fourteen more max HP via the juicy, juicy mango. All enemies lose two strength permanently. That seems like a much better version of disarm. Disarm every enemy and block for the same price and downside as disarm. Alright, I'll take that. Hey, Slime Soup is back. Another prepare card that costs zero. Great for, uh... Well, just great for the boss fight, really. It's time to fall. Using Purgatory, Fatal Desire, or the Hole Up. I'm sorry, Hole Up. I appreciated you this run, but your time has come to an end. I can just memento virtue? Nice. This... back for that. Leader. Card draw. Let's just verify that it's not... Yeah, it is just permanently lose two strength. Absurd. Dead or alive with the cheats. I think that'll be enough. Yeah. Give me that money. Charred glove. Whenever you draw a curse, your next attack deals four more damage. Okay. Now we have a real good reason. That's actually going to stack too, right? If we. If we ice cream stack the inspire keyword, we're just going to have an even bigger, better dead or alive. It's crazy. Nine damage to all enemies and then more for all curse cards we have. Hmm. I don't really feel like I need it, but it's cool. Onwards.
Hermit might feel a little busted, say, compared to the vanilla Spire characters. He seems to sit right about at the power level of all of the Downfall characters uh, in Downfall mod, all the bosses that you can play. Definitely a little bit more um, power available to the player. And I think that's partially because there is a lot less of a player base for this mod, so the, the average skill level of... Um, somebody who's playing the Hermit. Their skill level at the Hermit is collectively, on average, less than the vanilla characters. Just there's, there's been less people playing them for less time. And so the, the balance tends to skew a little bit more in the powerful. This run is also very blessed. Don't forget, we started with exceedingly broken combination of relics. And uh, we'd be doing something very, very similar on any of the vanilla characters. Removed. That's the top card. Let's just do Lone Wolf here. Choose them. Beautiful. Oh, I drew a Cinder's Bane and the Memento. Okay. Like, which two curses was I drawing there? Glorious. I guess Bruise would actually also really combo with the Dead or Alive. And with the Sadistic Nature. Let's give it a try. Gain six flock, apply a little bit of Bruise. Point Brand. Whenever you play six cards, it deals six damage to a random enemy. Very fitting, actually. Rather like that. Not that strong, but it's a damage relic. I guess you could say it's one additional damage per card, which is really simultaneously not that much and a ton, I guess. Kind of like Vajra is. Oh, Spray and Prey. I think this is what we're looking for. Deal three damage to a random enemy four times, and then it gives us a curse. Upgrade is even more damage. Uh, well, just plus one more per hit, not more hits. But yeah, I definitely want another a multi-hit card. Quick draw, <laughs> literally. Deal nine, draw two, but then one less next turn. So it's plus one draw, but unevenly distributed. Cool. Back up to 575 gold for this shop. And there's some beautiful stuff here. Stun any enemy that doesn't intend to attack. That should work on bosses, which is very, very silly. I'm going to take that. 
What else do I want here? We could Dolly's mirror one of our cards. I think there's some very good candidates, like Overwhelming Power is an excellent Dolly's Mirror. But we could also uh, duplicate one of our scaling cards. Wish Shadow Cloak was upgraded. <laughs> Definitely gonna buy Vajra. Roundhouse Kick. Oh, we can use Virtue to remove the debuff from Panic Button? Get in here. <laughs> Did not think about that. Do I dupe the Panic Button, actually? Yeah. Or I can dupe uh, Sadistic to make sure we're doing, like, really good damage. Can't just... Can't just dead or alive the heart, right? Okay, I'll dupe Sadistic. That sounds fun. Two Metallicized for 79 gold. It's not much, but it could be worth it, maybe. Surely we can get something better. First boss is Donu Deka. Here's our prepare. Gain 10 block next turn, gain 2 energy, draw 2. What a great card to get for free at the start of a fight. Going for Donu first. Stun any enemies that don't intend to attack. Okay. Donu has been stunned. Will this have a favorable outcome for me? I'm honestly not sure. There's only one way to find out. They might end up uh, synchronized now. Okay, no. Oh, yes, they're synchronized. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, I'm okay with that. Yeah, truthfully, I am okay with that. Don't worry about it. Synchronization. Hmm. Only attacking for nine by two, thankfully. I deserve a bounty. That makes sense, though. You're given the bounty at the reward screen, so it makes sense you can't get it from your Act 3 bosses. Probably won't work on this fight, either. Would be my guess. This won't work on you. Upgrade the roundhouse kick, but only if I use dead on. 
Could go Panic Button Virtue here. Although I think I'd rather um, retain the Virtue so that we can remove... Time Eater's debuffs. I'll go Memento low profile here. Take one, draw a bunch. Getting close to being enough already, huh? Actually, wait, faint. Yeah. GG, Time Eater. Get sadistic natured. Two thump, two thump, two thump, but comforting heartbeat can be felt throughout the room. Are you at the end? Is your purpose fulfilled? You reach for your holster, blapping 2756 souls back to the heart. Have you truly done enough? A sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The fight is not over yet. Did we get the downfall text there? It's kind of interesting. It's lifting time? Question mark? Is this upgrade to 18? One more per hit. This was an 8. Oh yeah, Shadow Cloak is the thing I might consider upgrading maybe. Honestly, I think we'll be fine. Get that second lift in there. Ruse is no longer reduced on hit. Oh my. Pretty spicy. Determination. Whenever a debuff is applied to us, gain one strength. We can use orange pellets to remove all of our debuffs. Which is probably good. I think that's good. I like the smooth stone for the additional decks. Vexing Draft. Gain two strength and two dex, but put two burn plus cards in your draw pile. Interesting. No way to exhaust those. So yes, yes, what is this? Right, Bruce no longer uh, removed on hits. So we can just gradually... Is it removed at end of turn? Yeah, so we're off on turn end, so I don't think I care about that. Liquid Memories might be better than Gambler's Brew, maybe? Secret Weapon seems reasonable. Let me fetch an attack from the draw pile. This upgrades to innate as well. A lot of upgrade to innates on this character. That would actually be really good upgraded, right? This is definitely the... Turn one is definitely the time you want this for the heart fight. Is overwhelming a debuff? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, anything I want to remove? Everything has a purpose here. Go one more coalescence. And I'll take the secret weapon. Okay. Five strength on turn one against these nerds. Here's dead or alive already. We can stun the shield. 
Nerf Nitro says, can you stun Heart on turn one? Yes, or any of the buff turns. All of which would be exceedingly powerful to skip. For so many reasons. Can't stun enemies that have artifact, that's true. Seven is 112. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. Wait, do these. Can I rearrange these? Incredible. can rearrange cards when retaining. It was all a lie. As long as I play an attack this turn, we'll remove all of our debuffs, right? our ink bottle, drawing us a card when we play 10 cards, and another chance at faint. I don't think we want one. Hey, love and love and appreciate those kind words. That was a really fun run to do. Shiv plus Joker equals sad, but still winning. Who knew? All right, Mr. Hart. We've got Virtue in our hand on turn one. That means we can just immediately remove all of these uh, debuffs when they get applied to us. Perfect. There's no reason for me to get that bonus, but I could if I wanted to. Shadow Cloak, that gets put in play. Might as well apply the Vulnerable now and stack it. Retain, I can't retain Purgatory. If I want to use this card, we should just play it now. Or I can let it go. And not use Purgatory in this fight. It's a very expensive card. Doesn't scale with our strength very well. We don't benefit from the fact that it's area damage. I think I'll just play nothing. Nice try, nerd. Well, what need is there for virtue, though, with the orange pellets, you know? Nice. I don't want to be frail when I play the panic button. So I think I go virtue, panic button, sadistic nature. Flash powder. Or actually, no, flash powder is the skill I play. I don't need to use the virtue. Flash powder. Uh, no, I'd still have to purge again. So yeah, the virtue is always involved. Okay. Join your minus strength. 
stuff. Beautiful. Not the world's best turn here. We want to get rid of the slime. This needs to get played. Stop there, I think. I don't want to add a strike plus. I guess I could play Cracking Shot. Yeah. Go for it. The Blockitude. Oh, and we drew the Roundhouse Kick on the correct turn. Observe chat the almightitude of Roundhouse Kick. Just breaking the game here. Bonk. Heart stunned. That means it does not buff. That means... Uh, do I want any of this? Nope. That means it does not gain its negative strength back. Oh, it's going to buff again. Okay, just skips the turn then. Not how I thought it worked. I guess we saw that in the Donu deck of fight, but I didn't process it properly. Cool. Good. That means it's not completely game-breaking, just very strong. Very similar to Vaults. Fundamentally. Do I get rid of... I'm going to discard Lone Wolf here. No oh, order. So there's the artifact finally coming in. That is a lot of garbage in my hands. Hmm. I guess that's what Gambler's Brew is for. Can't quite finish it. Actually, the cheats can only play it down. But then ink bottle, the flower. Choose six cards to retain. All right, it's bounty hunting time. GG. Ah, the damage cap. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.